Yo, what is going on boys? It is Maze and I'm back with another YouTube video today. Hopefully you guys are doing good and today I am here to show you guys the best Madden 21 quarterbacks in the game right now in Ultimate Team. Shout out to my boy Jack for helping me out with this list. This is pretty much just a list of who I think the best quarterbacks are in the game right now, as of right now. So obviously in the future this could differ or you know, whenever you're watching this, this could differ. But as of right now, and if you guys want more updated lists on different positions and stuff just like that, make sure to drop a comment down below. But before anything starts, make sure to drop a sub down below on the channel. I really do appreciate it, boys. We're at 888 subscribers, 888. I really do appreciate that. We're trying to hit 1K by the end of January, so if you guys want to help out with that journey, I really do appreciate it. Also, let's try and hit 10 likes on this video as well. Thank you guys so much. So we're kind of going to go from the least of, I'm doing five quarterbacks on this list. So, you know, you guys kind of get a taste of which ones are better, which ones are worse. So I'm going to start with Brett Favre. So like I said, I'm going worst to best. Um, and some of these are pretty close, so you know, they can kind of differ and whatever, but I'll just go worst to best. I'm going to start with this 92 overall Brett Favre. So he does have a very, very quick release and he does get Gunslinger. Um, and he is kind of a cheaper option if you guys need him. A 92 overall, not too bad. You can power him up if you really need to. His power up is not even really that expensive either. He doesn't have any pieces. Altogether, this would be kind of an easier card to power up or just use in general if you want to throw some abilities on him. But when you have a really good release and you get gunslinger that's pretty much most of what you need in a quarterback when it comes to Madden 21 quarterbacks it really just matters about abilities and what quarterbacks get which abilities it's not even which like quarterbacks have the best stats if we're being honest this far doesn't have bad stats but obviously it did come out quite a bit ago so it is kind of behind in the times but like I said, if you, I mean, if you're on a little bit of a budget as well, you can pick up this Brett Favre and he will perform very, very well. The next quarterback up is Ryan Tannehill. So we're going to go check his stats. Um, so this is probably the fourth quarterback, fourth best quarterback, I should say. He does have pretty solid speed. 86 speed is pretty solid. And altogether, his stats do look pretty solid. But the catch is that Ryan Tannehill gets Slinger or Hot Rod Master. He does not get both. He does not get both. He can get Slinger or Hot Rod Master. And like I said, when it comes to abilities, that's pretty much all that matters in the game. So he gets Slinger or Hot Rod Master. He doesn't have an insane release. I think it's just kind of an average one. Um, so the stats are pretty solid. He is pretty fast. You really need him. And his power up is pretty cheap. So it should be easy to power him up and throw one of those abilities on him. But I would not say he's better than the quarterbacks above him just because of the abilities and just his stats in general. But with 86 speed, you can kind of get away with most things. Um, and altogether, he is a pretty accurate quarterback, but also kind of a more expensive option as well. So that's a little bit unfortunate. But yeah, so Ryan Tannehill was probably one of the better ones as well. So the third quarterback up, we have Michael Vick, third best quarterback in the game. Um, obviously, well, Michael Vick gets a gunslinger. So that is kind of the best trait he pretty much has. But he also has 95 speed speed 95 speed 97 throw power and that's kind of the bigger deal as well um, along with uh, I think the only reason I'd want to put him at threes is because of how expensive he can get obviously if you guys are watching this you guys might have a bunch of coins to just blow on a card so you know you guys can go blow on a card Michael Vick is very very good I've played him a lot I've played against him a lot in uh, weekend league and such and this card plays out of his mind but either way, he does have solid accuracy, but with 95 speed, 97 throw power, and he can get to Gunslinger. Like I said, the only thing that kind of deters me down from the final two quarterbacks is his price and that he only gets Gunslinger. That is another thing as well. It's all about the abilities, man. It's all about the abilities. But so 95 speed, you can't really go wrong. 96 agility, 96 excel. Even along with 87 spin and 93 juke move. I mean, like I said, he's pretty much like a running back coming out of the backfield as long as you don't fumble with him and such. Uh, Michael Vick is always going to play good. He is just more of an expensive option. So the next quarterback up is Josh Allen. He is slightly cheaper to power up than Vick, but he is still pretty expensive as well. But Josh Allen plays very well. Josh Allen has a better release than Michael Vick. Um, just, you know, release kind of matters as well. That's kind of the only reason why Favre is fifth on this list. So Josh Allen has a really good release, and he also gets Gunslinger along with 97 throw power. 88 speed is still really solid. He has a better release than Michael Vick, and his speed is still pretty solid. 97 throw power is really good along with powering him up. You can get, throw some sprinter on him. You know, maybe you get a theme team going to get up to 92 speed. And he even has 86 juke move if you really want to go crazy. But yeah, I do think Josh Allen is probably the second best quarterback in the game. I think Vic could be a little bit better. I played against both of them, but I, I just think that Josh Allen has such a good release. And releases are kind of a big deal in this game. And that's, you know, what kind of carries quarterbacks sometimes. But yeah, so Josh Allen is probably the second best quarterback in the game. So finally, I think most of you guys probably knew this. If not, then now you do. Um, 96 overall Rich Gannon is definitely the best quarterback in the game 
insanely accurate across the board 95 throw power he gets gunslinger and hot route master and that is why you like this is why it's easily the best card in the game like i said when it comes down to abilities if you can get both of those abilities you're pretty much already automatically the best quarterback in the game you can have zero stats across the board if you get those two abilities you're probably going to play better than most of the cards and it's kind of unfortunate that's the way mana works but that's just the way it works 84 speed is still pretty solid across the board but it's pretty much self-explanatory if you get gunslinger and hot route master then essentially you're just going to be better than any other quarterback along with the fact that i mean it is pretty expensive to power him up and kind of get him up to a certain overall but he's probably as expensive as vic so getting both abilities all together i mean honestly you can't really go wrong with this rich cannon the only reason you'd want to get vic is maybe if you run with your quarterback a lot more you're trying to be a little more, a little more mobile but i think with the way the game works pocket passes are kind of the better one in this game so i would definitely go with rich cannon and i mean i think most people already knew this rich cannon is definitely the best quarterback in the game right now but of course i just wanted to get this video out to you guys if you guys were kind of wondering what cards to get and you know which ones are cheaper expensive you know you guys kind of get the point but yeah that's pretty much gonna be it for the video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you want to see like a running backs one a wide receivers one i could do cornerbacks a bunch of other positions if you guys want to see stuff like that make sure to let me know down below in the comments i really do hope you guys enjoyed i and i appreciate you guys watching like i said let's try and hit 1k subs by the end of january make sure you smash that sub button down below should be coming out with a second video today so make sure to turn out post notifications for that one as well and i really do appreciate it hope you guys have a good one i'll see you on the next one and peace